Hi, it's Logan from Sleep Off List, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Emma mattress. Now, Emma designs and builds their mattresses in the UK. They have an all foam version as well as a hybrid version. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the all foam version of the Emma mattress. I'm going to be putting it through a few tests and giving some general recommendations at the end of the review. But if you are interested in a personal recommendation or have any questions that I don't cover during the review, please feel free to leave a note in the comment section below with some information about yourself and some of your sleep preferences, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Now, I'm going to start out the review looking at the construction of the Emma, and we're going to begin with the cover. Now, the cover, as you can see, is pretty elastic. It's also pretty thin, so it's going to help with breathability, some airflow through the mattress. Also, the thin cover means it's not going to really uh, interfere with the feeling of the foam layers of the mattress. So now that we've talked about the cover, let's get a look underneath it at those layers of the mattress. And I've taken off the cover, which is removable and machine washable, to give you a better look at the foam layers of the M mattress. Now up here on top, we have kind of the comfort layer. Uh, it's called their ErgoCell Foam. Uh, as you can see, it's got a really quick response to pressure. It's kind of a medium firmness to it, and it's also uh, supposed to have kind of a uh, uh, open-celled structure, which is going to help, again, temperature regulation, cooling. You want to be really careful uh, with some foams. You don't want to overheat during the middle of the night, as some foams can trap body heat. Uh, one of those foams is a memory foam, which actually is our next layer down. Now, memory foam is great for letting you sink in. It's great for pressure relief, which is really important. Uh, but it can, at times, trap a lot of body heat. So by placing it underneath this Ergo cell foam, they've kind of uh, defended against that trapping of body heat, also defended against kind of that stuck feeling in a mattress. So you have this quick response to pressure of that top layer combined with the memory foam beneath it. You get a little bit of, um, you know, pressure relief and cooling on top. Now at the base here, your support layer is this high density polyfoam. It's really firm, acts to support the layers above it, as well as the sleeper on top of the mattress. One thing I wanted to point out is that there are these channels uh, cut into the Emma at specific locations. It's zoned to allow for your shoulders, your hips, some places like that to sink in strategically, which is going to help with spine alignment. You know, I will say zoning like this is pretty rare among foam mattresses. You do see it in a few different brands, uh, so it's a really nice touch that will help, uh, you know, you feel more comfortable spine alignment, especially when lying on your side uh, here on the Emma mattress. Now that we've seen what makes up the Emma mattress, it's time to get an idea for the feel and firmness of it. So I'm going to start by pressing into the cover. Now the first thing I notice is how bouncy it is. It's got that quick response to pressure, so it's going to help you feel more on top of the mattress than kind of stuck in it. I will say that it is a little bit firmer than I was expecting it to be. It is a uh, bed in a box, so it comes compressed, and when you take it out of the plastic, it does need a little bit of time to decompress. I've had this mattress out of the box for about two days now, and I will say uh, the difference between a few hours to the next day and now two days after is pretty different. So if you do get the Emma, don't judge it right away. Make sure you give yourself enough time to really let it decompress out of the mattress before you sleep on it. So now I'm gonna lie down on my back, test it out for back sleepers. Now, again, in my opinion, it is kind of that medium firmness edging towards a firmer feel to it. Uh, that may, may change a little bit as you sleep on it a little bit, maybe wear it in just a little bit. I definitely feel, um, you know, more on top of the mattress with that quick response to pressure from uh, the foam in the comfort layer. I am sinking in a little bit, get a little bit of back support, but uh, again, I can change positions. I don't feel like I'm really like sunk into the Emma. So I'm going to roll onto my side. You know, side sleepers generally like a softer mattress. If you sleep on your side, you kind of um, concentrate your weight over a smaller surface area and it pushes your shoulders and your hips further into the mattress. You end up interacting with the firmer support layers of a mattress, which at times can ca cause some issues with uh, pressure. Uh, you know, we're going to take a closer look at pressure later on in the review. But uh, again, the Emma has taken kind of steps to help with that spine alignment allow for you to sink further into the mattress. Even though I did say, uh, you know, I found that the comfort layer is kind of that medium firm to firm, maybe you think a seven out of 10 with 10 being the firmest. Uh, the channels that are cut into that support layer are really gonna help allow your shoulders to sink further in, uh, you know, allow your spine to align in a good position in that position, which is a nice feature for the Emma. Now I'm gonna roll onto my stomach.
You know, stomach sleepers are kind of the opposite of side sleepers, tending to prefer uh, firmer mattresses. Basically, with a firmer mattress, it does a good job of keeping your hips from sinking in the mattress, keep your spine aligned in a good position. Again, in my opinion, the Emma is, you know, seven out of 10 on the firmest scale, which is pretty good for stomach sleepers. I don't feel like my hips are sinking too far into this mattress, which is nice, uh, you know, but, you know, firmness can be kind of an opinion call uh, because of different sizes and weight distributions. Everyone feels firmness a little bit differently. Uh, so if you would like a wider variety of opinions on the firmness of this mattress or a little bit more detailed description on the feel of it, you can check out the written review at sleepopolis.com. Instead of just describing the feel of the Emma mattress, I wanted to give you a visual representation of where pressure points might form while lying on the mattress. So to do that, I place this pressure map on top. And I'm going to lie down on it in a few different positions, and you'll see the results next to me ranging from blue for low pressure to red for high pressure. Just to give you an idea of the bounce on the Emma mattress, I have this 10 pound steel ball here. I'm dropping it. As you can see, there is pretty good bounce, a lot more bounce than I'm used to seeing out of kind of a foam bed in the box mattress. So I was pretty impressed with that. It's gonna help you kind of move around, not feel stuck in the mattress at all. Now while I'm here, I'm also gonna run a quick motion transfer test. Uh, basically, I dropped the ball from heights of four eight and 12 inches. Uh, now these drops are going to simulate someone kind of getting into and out of bed or rolling around in the middle of the night. And I measure the disturbance transferred across the mattress with a seismometer on the other side where someone might be laying. Uh, now that we've run the test, we can get the, uh, the results up on screen. In my opinion, these are pretty average results uh, for a foam mattress. Bouncy mattresses like this do tend to transfer a good amount of uh, you know, disturbance across the surface of the mattress. If you do sleep with a partner and they do tend to roll around quite a bit during the night, uh, in my opinion, you will probably feel it on the other side of the Emma mattress. Right, now, a lot of people buying a mattress are gonna wanna know if they're gonna feel like they're sitting on top of or sinking into bed. So to test that, I've set up the sinkage test in which we use four balls, varying sizes, weights, and densities simulate different body parts and check to see how far into the Emma they sink. Now over here we have the six pound medicine ball. It's filled with sand. It simulates a lighter body part. It sinks into the mattress about two centimeters. Here we have this 10 pound steel ball. It's the densest ball used during this test. It sinks into the mattress four centimeters. Right here we have this 50 pound medicine ball filled with sand. It simulates kind of a heavier portion of your body. Think maybe your shoulders, your hips. Uh, it sinks into the Emma about eight centimeters. And right here we have this 100 pound medicine ball, again, filled with sand. If you're a bit heavier, sitting it's kind of the center of your body and found it sinks into the Emma mattress about 13 centimeters. Now across the board, these are actually lower sinkage numbers than I see when I test other foam mattresses on the market. Uh, so combined with the quick response to pressure and the comfort layer and the low sinkage numbers here, you're definitely gonna feel like you're sitting on top of the mattress more so than sinking into it. You're gonna be able to change positions really easily. I just to give you some basic information about the Emma mattress, there's a 100 night trial period, a 10 year warranty, and shipping and returns are free. Now, I really like the Emma mattress and some of the reasons I think it'd be a good fit for you is if you're a combo sleeper, felt well supported on my back as well as my stomach, and that quick response to pressure combined with the low sinkage numbers means you can change positions without feeling stuck in the mattress. I also like the Emma for its zoned support. Uh, you know, we saw the kind of the channels cut into that high density polyfoam support layer. Uh, so even on your side, it's gonna help you sink into the mattress a little bit. Uh, with, it's gonna help with spinal alignment. And finally, I would recommend the Emma because of its breathability. There's that thin uh, cover, which is really nice to allow airflow through it. And also that comfort layer is built with an open celled structure, which again, help with breathability as well as temperature regulation and cooling to defend against overheating during the middle of the night. Now, some of the complaints I might have or reasons that I would say maybe the Emma's not for you is I don't really think it's great for couples. 
I found that the edge support of the mattress wasn't that strong, meaning that uh, when I lie really close to the side of the mattress, it collapsed the side of it a little bit. Uh, so it, you're not gonna be able to use the entire surface area if you do sleep with a partner. It means there's a little bit less of the bed. And also, we saw really high disturbance transfer uh, during the motion transfer portion of the review. So if you do have a partner that kind of rolls around during the middle of the night, it might disturb you a little bit. Now, I would also say that it might not be for you if you are looking for kind of a plush feel sinking into the mattress. Some people just like the contouring hug of a memory foam. You're not gonna get that out of the uh, Emma mattress. So there's some general recommendations, but if you are looking for a personal recommendation, please feel free to leave a note in the comment section below, some information about yourself, some of your sleep references, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Also, if your mattress buying search has just begun, please Google Sleepopolis and Mattress Buying Guide. It's gonna have a ton of information in there that's gonna help you better understand what you should be looking for in that perfect mattress for you. And also, please subscribe to the Sleepopolis YouTube channel as we're gonna keep putting out more content that's gonna help you get a better night's sleep. So that's it for the review today. I hope it was helpful. Have a nice day.